So hello together. Today we were talking about one very interesting thing. It's about the C20 and the B40 blocks in Solid FX multilayer. And these blocks now open really a nice thing for working. Look at that holder and in the parts here I have just fitted in and milled out these parts here in combination with this holder or in combination with the composite holder, the comp holder, offers now really a big, a big advantage for making single crowns and small bridges up to three units in your machine. So let's first have a look at the nesting software. Here I have opened the software and just put in one of these blocks, the C20 blocks. And you see on left side here the choosing of my machine here is possible from the Motion 2 5x late 2016. And below you have the places, the slots here. So when you want to place and you want to add a new block, let's go. I add a new block, I go here on my material, on the multi-layer material and here we have the both materials. Easiest way is if you have the scanner, the intelligent scanner and you only type in here in the code field and you take your box here and you fit here your scanner on the QR code and then you can generate your block here. I just loaded it before. Here I edit again and I have a new one. Use it and place the crown in it. And now see the holder, the composite holder, the comp holder. And now I switch to the nine slot holder back from the first to the second one. Here I see the block is just inside and here I can place it on the different nine places. We have to place 11 to 33 and this means I can choose which place I want to stack now my position of the crown. Put the crown in by drag and drop and place the crown in the finest position. So now we have a, one big advantage here of my blocks. If you have a block here, for example, a 0A1, this is a quite bright one, and you place your crown, you look from side, and then you can lift here and uncheck the box of locking the inclination, and then you can lift up or pull down the crown to give it a more dark or a more bright color. And that means we have two color possibilities in one block with a crown in that size. After placing the crown in the right position, maybe for example I want to have it in a bright in a bright color and I put it in the top of the block, then I arrange the position in rotation, lock the inclination again, put it in the finest position and change my connector position. The connector will be cut off at 30% rest material and here with that small slider I can even arrange the layer visibility from a smooth to a more straight view on the colors. After that I will pass to the production and I will calculate my milling path by starting the calculation. That's it for single crowns. Some big advantages during the milling calculation. When the burr is going outside the block, you don't have so much abrasion of the burr. You get a more quick way to do the crown. And now you can combine in your holder different colors. For example, here I have two crowns, lifted more bottom, lifted more on high. So I have in one block two different colors. This means now you can get a lot of different block colors. And inside the block color, by lifting the crown from bottom to top, you get different colors available. This is like a tool changer, a workpiece changer here now inside. Now let's go to the other holder to show you how it looks like there. So this is the second one, the three-piece one, and here I can insert my block in the holder and you see it's only possible in one side. The other side is not fitting, of course, of dark to bright color layers. It has to be in a one fixed position. Put it in, screw the screw with your Allen screwdriver and that's it. And then you put it in your holder. Let's have a holder here. You can imagine this is the 71 holder and when you want to place it, you only insert this part here inside your holder and then you have the possibility of milling the single crowns in this adapter. But that's not all. For example, you have the bigger block, the three ones, this is the B40 and you want to mill out a single crown and two another ones inside. I can show you how it works. So let's go. First what I do is I click here on add a new block here in my library. 
I filter the material for example if I do it manually if I click on the box here for scanning here my box here I go with the scanner and I scan it click on generate and then I have just added the block before for training I add it again and show you how to place a new single crown inside the B40 block so let's keep here in that small holder and I drag and drop now my small crown here inside and we'll place it, look from top, place it in the right position, rotate it with a control key pressed here then look from a side that you can place the crown in the right height, unlock the inclination, you can put it up to have a bright color, for example here a, a 3.5, if you put it down it will get a a4, the Vita A4 color. So I will do it in upper, upper position now for a bright ground color and now I'm locking the inclination again then I rotate in the best place and I change my connector position here and don't worry if the connector looks quite long like that this is quite normal of course the milling path only concentrates here on the crown around and not is milling here down to the holder here so next step will be the production and the milling path calculation after my milling path calculation I now want to place the next crown in here you see it on the right side if you only would like to place it like drag and drop like you use it as normal and you will place it here in the place and you will start with a proceeding to the milling path calculation it will not work so there is this little trick here to do so let's remove it again for a second and now what you have to do is to cut out the first calculated ground out of the block and there's a really good trick now if you right click on the block you cannot find the command here to delete it so first you click on your block and you make the visual properties on 90 percent that you can grab the ground through the block and now with the right mouse click you can remove the construction and you say okay I want really to cut off the milling area after that you can drag and drop the new crown you place it in position you know the same way and now you can go very close to the outer edge of your old milled one then you place your connector in position you look from side you want to place the color dark color for bottom you know and bright color for top so let's go to the bottom side place the connector and that's it and after now I can immediately proceed to the production and start the milling calculation for the second round and you can see in my library here that I have just done a block here which has uh, three units milled out yet let's see how it looks in the block here after milling it out you have this single crown a bigger one maybe here we will fit two or maximum three and when you click it away you can use that block again for the next crown that was three units in a three single units three single units in a big B40 block and now what's on when you want to look now how it works in the machine I have prepared a small video clip and you see that is now the preparation I have two B40 blocks in the machine just prepared everything past the milling path and now the machine is starting with the first bridge which is a really miracle thing after finishing the bridge it's really on the single connector fitting to the block and you nearly you can just click the bridge away you can cut it away or open the screw and here we start with the milling process from inside I will have another video for watching so and here you can see the single blocks here the C20 block from milling from inside with the start of the machine now what's the biggest advantage of that U blocks and the holder you can put up to nine blocks in different sizes here you can combine here different colors and single crowns and up to three unit bridges in the nine slot holder in the comp holder and you will save a lot of changes of your blocks here and that's important for example when you mill overnight with the HD with the high definition milling strategy okay have fun use the material and see you next time and on the other side there was Thomas Kinger, Amann Gerbach bye bye